Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Bhaskar Day. I am an eye specialist. With a wide range of information regarding our eyes, this is my video series, Our Eyes. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, click on thumbs up button and press bell icon so as to receive messages for new uploads. The subject for this video is computer eye testing. Is it good for all? The word computer in general gives an impression of accuracy. Whenever we hear something computer aided or computerized, we feel that it is most accurate and possibly the best. Hence we all are attracted to it. But is it always true? Well, for engineering drawing and different procedures, scientific calculations, medical instruments, different kinds of processing and for many other matters, it is definitely true. It has made many otherwise difficult tasks much easier. But is it also true for examination of a highly complex living organ like human eye? Let's find out. First, the machine. The machine with which usually eyes are tested in different opticians shop is known as autorefractometer or autorefractor or autoref in short. It's a computer controlled machine for knowing the refractive status of an eye or simply put spectacle power testing equipment known to many as computer eye testing machine. In some machines, besides power testing, corneal curvatures can also be measured. That may help in finding out astigmatism, proper fitting of contact lens, and sometimes in IOL power calculations. These machines are called autorefractokeratometer, but this is not widely used. A number of companies manufacture these equipments with different modifications of the basic unit. These machines are also costly. But one thing is for sure. It is attractive and attracts many people to the particular place where it is installed. If we analyze the name, auto means automatic refract means refraction or testing for spectacle power and meter means capable of measuring or measurements so name itself indicates that it is a machine that is capable of automatic refraction measurement meaning automatic measurement of spectacle power so what all these machines test while one subjects his or her valuable eyes for computerized eye testing procedure? Well, you must be thinking that it's so easy. This machine can test and diagnose each and every eye disease or eye conditions that can occur in eyes. Eye conditions that even an eye doctor or ophthalmologist cannot diagnose. I wish you were right. But I am sorry to inform you that it is not true. The autorefractors that are available in many optician store are capable of testing your spectacle power only. As I said earlier, the name only indicates it's a machine with the help of which refraction or testing of spectacle power is done automatically. The name is not auto eye tester or computer eye tester. It indirectly means that this machine is not capable of testing eyes. It cannot diagnose any eye disease. These machines are not capable of detecting or diagnosing if anyone has any problematic disease inside the eye. The manual method of testing of spectacle power is a slow and tedious process. In short, one after another lenses are to be placed in front of each eye of an individual and check with a retinoscope until a neutral point is reached. Then calculations are made and a possible power can be known. Then after subjective testing, 
meaning with the help of individual's judgment a final power is prescribed this tedious process can be avoided using auto refractometer that quickly measures and gives the examiner a possible list of powers mind you not a single accurate power but a possible list of powers like this that's all it does the examiner has to again check subjectively exactly as done after manual refraction with the help of the individual's judgment and then a glass prescription is served but doesn't it test my eyes accurately to diagnose if i have any dreadful eye disease in my eye the answer is no it doesn't so what are the good points of this machine number 1 it gives very quickly a printed list of possible spectacle powers from which one has to be ultimately prescribed after subjective test meaning confirmation with the help of the patient or individual number 2 usually midriatics meaning eye drops for enlarging the size of the pupil is not required 3 can test spectacular power with intraocular lens inside the eye of course it can be done with manual method also four can measure corneal curvature if the machine has this capability five it's a good alternative to manual examination for mass screening For example there is an eye examination camp where a large number of individuals have come it is not possible to check this many eyes with the manual method here the auto refractor has a definite role to play by doing quick checkups sometimes if the patient is illiterate or cannot read the vision charts or it's a child who cannot understand the test charts a rough idea can be obtained as to the refractive status of eyes number 7 and it may not be always true but it's a good business proposition it usually attracts a lot of customers particularly lay persons who think it's great to get eyes tested with computers why go to a doctor and spend more money now the disadvantages number 1 it cannot diagnose any eye disease particularly if the disease is inside the eye and the eye apparently looks quite normal two an individual has impairment of vision does not necessarily mean it's related to spectacle power variation there are so many eye conditions in which eyes look apparently normal from outside but inside there are problematic diseases such as open angle glaucoma low tension glaucoma patches of choroiditis posterior subcapsular lens opacity diabetic retinopathy partial optic atrophy and many others in all these conditions the eyes may look absolutely normal from outside these diseases can only be diagnosed by a clinician or ophthalmologist who will diagnose these ailments after seeing the fundus or image of back part of the eye with the help of an ophthalmoscope and also getting some investigations done an auto refractometer cannot diagnose any of these dreadful eye conditions 3 auto refractometer can never tell whether there is any organic defect in eye for example let us imagine a situation in which an individual has lost his or her vision due to optic nerve damage either due to injury or because of a disease process the eyeball is normal and there is no disease if the individual's eye is tested with a auto refractometer it will give a list of possible spectacle powers but with the power he will not be able to see anything because although the eye appears to be normal because there is no defect inside the eye but he has defect 
outside the eye in the form of damaged optic nerve that is situated behind the eyeball. Four, computer result. It's not so accurate. Have you ever looked at the printed result slip that comes out of the printing section of the machine? If not, examine it next time. You will find that it does not give a single accurate spectacle power. It gives at least five different readings. The examiner cannot straight away prescribe you a spectacle power based on the results. The examiner has to examine the individual subjectively based on the multiple readings and select one for your glass prescription. So the question arises, how accurate is the autorefractor? It's up to you to answer. There can be many other drawbacks of the so-called computerized eye testing. As a matter of fact, it should have been known as computer spectacle power testing and not computer eye testing as it is commonly known as. If you have understood what I meant, you will definitely ask, so what to do? Next time, if I have any vision problem, will I go for a so-called computer eye testing or will I go to a qualified doctor or ophthalmologist? The decision is yours because eyes are yours. I can only suggest but it's not necessary that you will have to follow my suggestion. I suggest number one if you are below the age of 40 years and do not have any chronic illness and if you are sure I repeat if you are sure that your vision problem is due to a variation of spectacle power only and nothing else you can always go for a computer spectacle power testing. But if you are not sure and want a thorough checkup to know if there is any eye disease and get valuable advice from a competent person, you must go to an ophthalmologist. You will never regret. But if you are above 40 years and have myopia, meaning minus power and diabetes or any other systemic illness, and some visual problem then you should not take chances you should resist all temptations and avoid wrong advice of friends and near ones and go to an ophthalmologist because open angle glaucoma is a dreadful eye disease it usually occurs after 40 years in this condition the eye apparently looks quite normal from outside but inside there can be damage to optic nerve which is irreversible meaning cannot be reversed after treatment and there is every possibility of losing vision if not detected early. If you are above 50 years always consult ophthalmologist. I may remind you the age old saying that it is better to be safe than sorry. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel, like it and press bell icon. If you have any question, you can always ask. Thanks again.